Hey guys, I had somebody reach out and ask me um, for a quick video on getting these, the kind of buried in hair, but this little flappy flank area that's um, pretty easy to catch in the clippers and everything. And I didn't think I was gonna be able to make a video today because Mr. Charlie here usually gets a long haircut, but as you can see, he's got some matting going on. So unfortunately, we are having to take him pretty short today. Um, so I thought that I would try to get a video of this. So what I do is I like to put my fingers kind of behind the skin to stabilize it a little bit as I go. And I kind of work my way down. Um, I don't want to go, you get some of this out of the way here. Um, you do not want to go this way with it because then you're more than likely to catch the skin up between the teeth. And um, actually, I, I feel like somebody's going to ask me what length I'm using. And I am using a three and three quarters uh, skip tooth blade. I do not recommend these for people who are grooming at home because these are probably 10 times easier to cut a dog with. Um, the reason I'm doing it is I use these blades to get underneath the matting a little bit more so that I can leave as, as much fluff as possible. Um, this guy does come every month, so I try not to scalp him, scalp him, but um, I use whatever I can pretty much just get underneath the matting. And it does take me a little bit longer, but um, she's a good customer and uh, he's a good boy. So anyway, <laughs> back to the... Okay, so now that I kind of have this area freed up, um, I will show you how I get that. All right, so there's that, and I'm going to grab my 10 blade here. Okay. And I am going to do his Sani trim. So I'm going to shave some of this hair here. And you, um, you can use this, again, just kind of go real lightly around that area. And their skin is so loose in this. I like pull it and move it around to uh, kind of get where I need to. Let me see if I can get you a little bit closer here. Hold on, Charlie. We're going to get real personal, buddy. Um, like that, maybe? Where am I at here? I can kind of show you. Whoop, come on. And I just kind of real lightly with my 10 blade try to clean this out. Um, I, I do like to kind of pinch him closed, <laughs> basically, to make sure that nothing is going to come out and get cut because we don't want that. So um, when I'm working right around the tip there, I do tend to pinch that shut, so just for safety's sake. But, um, and then in this little area, again, I take my 10 and just real lightly kind of go up in there.
Always check your blade, make sure your blade's not getting too hot. And um, that's a very, very sensitive area. Charlie, I'm gonna move this. Um, that's an extremely sensitive area, so you don't wanna cause clipper burn or anything, and that's why I keep repeating to very lightly um, go over that area. And again, check your blade, make sure your blade's not getting too hot, um, everything like that. So there's that. Um, and then armpits was actually another spot here that was also requested so we're gonna come around here because i think the lighting is better on this side nope trying to find a optimal spot here okay um so again i check the blade i like to test it on my forearm here um, because the forearms are more sensitive than your hand so it'll kind of give you a better readout of whether or not that's gonna be too sensitive for their skin. So I pull the arm. Now, you do not wanna chicken wing their arm because it, they don't move that way. They're not built that way. But they can go out, they can give a little bit here. So, Charlie, hey, thank you. And then I tend to scoop outwards more towards me and then back again he's kind of finicky today apparently and I I will say that I very often shave all of my doodle pits here because it's just one of those friction areas that tend to um, get a good bit Sorry guys, I'm not having a good, not having a very good day here, but I'm trying. So again, we're going to, Charlie, please quit fighting with me. Sir, you are being very silly. There, oh my goodness, was it that bad? I don't think it was that bad. Nobody likes Harry Pitts, Charlie. All right, so now Mr. Charlie has to fit. Oh, are you ashamed, Charlie? You, Mr. Charlie has to finish his his has to finish his haircut now. Um, but so that's that. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'm usually around. So thanks, guys.